I'm so annoyed. I just filmed this whole video and I had my camera the wrong way around, so it was filming the wall over there rather than me. Anyways, hello and welcome back to Bell's Books. Today I am going to be telling you why you should read The Giver of Stars by Jojo Moyes. This book was really, really good. It's about the construction of a library in rural America, specifically Kentucky, in the late 1930s, early 1940s. It follows the story of Alice, a young English woman, and her marriage to an American man, and then her subsequent move to rural Kentucky, where she engages with the community, makes friends, builds new relationships, transforms people's lives, and um, sets up this library with um, other women in her village. It really focuses on the power of friendship and the human desire for love. It's incredibly encouraging and ultimately extremely uplifting. You get the sense that there will always be bad guys, but if there are enough good guys to outweigh the bad, it doesn't really matter. Saying this out loud kind of makes the book sound like I don't know, a bit naive in its ideology, but genuinely it is just an optimistic and uplifting story and I would recommend it. So why should you specifically, at this point in time, read The Giver of Stars? I have three reasons for you. First of all, it has a happy ending and it's uplifting. I think it's really important to be reading um, uplifting things and trying to get our happiness from other places rather than focusing on all the things which might usually just overwhelm us and bring us down. This book is definitely one of those things that will be able to um, kind of improve your mood for a while because of the positive message and the positive outcome. The second reason that you should read this book is that it will teach you a little bit of history, which I think is never a bad thing. Set almost 100 years ago, it's based on a true story about the establishment of a library in rural America. It's a good reminder that we're not so far away from a time where everything is more disconnected, um, literacy rates were lower, and we didn't have access to entertainment in the way that we do now. And I think it's really good to read historical fiction or history books sometimes because it does put our present into perspective. The third reason that you should read this book right now is that there are beautiful descriptions of nature and the mountains in Kentucky throughout the entire novel. And I think it will just remind you what it's like to be outside and what it's like to travel in this time when you kind of are stuck staring at the four walls of your room and going a little bit stir crazy. So I hope you liked this video. If you did, please subscribe and give me a like down below. And also, also, please follow my Instagram at Bell's Books. And and if you have any ideas for books I should read or books I should review, then please leave that in a comment down below. Thank you for watching and I hope you have a great day.